Welcome guys to another Profile Tree Wix video. So today we're going to be going through modern headers on Wix. And we're just going to be making a couple of different designs and just seeing what you could be using for your website. So we'll go ahead and get started. So if you guys haven't seen the previous video on consistency on Wix, go ahead and check it out. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and create a header for this website. So first of all, we're going to want to see what sort of pages we're going to be running with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the pages and menu. Now it looks like we've got a home page, our blog and search results. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more pages just to make this uh, video or just to make this website uh, a little bit more consistent with its pages. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've got the pages added, I'm going to go ahead and start some adding some elements. So what I prefer to do is to always add a strip. So I'm just going to go for a classic strip here and just add the blank white uh, one there. Uh, now, of course, it is a little bit bigger than usual. So what I'm going to do is use the toolbar and just use the height and change that to 150 for the height. And then with any extra white spaces, I just go ahead and delete that off by just double clicking on it and what I want to do now is go to the layout of this and I'm also going to want to add a column. Now with the column I'm going to then change the proportion so the strip layout to a 2080. Now this just gives me room so I can add some uh, a logo and even a header. Okay, so now what I want to do, of course, I'll just use a small decorative piece just as a placeholder. Of course, this is where you would want to add your logo. And then now what I want to do is add my menu item. So I'm just going to go back to add elements and then go to menu and anchor. And then from menu and anchor, I'm going to go ahead and select a theme menu. So any menu you could choose really, so it's just preferred up to yourselves. So now that we've got the menu in place, what I would want to do is go ahead and design it. So there's a couple of different options here for designing the menu here. So we'll go ahead and select customize design. And from here as well, you could change the how it hovers for its color. And as you can see, there's different color options there. And you can also change the font itself. So I can go ahead and select the Comfort Regular. Or what I could do is the uh, Questrial, which of course matches the rest of the website. Now there are ways for you to space it out if you want to as well. You could also change the submenu background color and this would be applied only towards the submenu of course and the way to get a submenu going is if i have retro clothing i can go ahead and submenu both men's and women's clothing so as you can see that these are now sub pages and if i go ahead and select the menu again and click on the design go to customize design I can go ahead and fill the submenu background to say a blue color. So when I go ahead and preview that and I hover over retro clothing, it'll give me a submenu and it's now in color blue. So we'll go ahead and go back to editor and see what else we can go ahead and do with the header itself. So now we're back, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can go ahead and remove the home. So uh, in order to do that, we'll just go to pages and menu, select home and hide. As we'll not need it, since we're going to be using the logo as our home page button. So the way to do that is by linking it and choosing a page and selecting home. And clicking done. So of course when we go ahead to preview and I select a different page, so say about us, click on the logo, it'll bring us back to the home page. 
and select back to editor and as you can see from the page it says home now just to prove that this does this uh, does work if I go ahead and select about us and go back to editor as you can see on our top left our page is about us Okay, so now what, uh, what I want to do as well is I sort of want to bring these guys together. So you could do this just by dragging it in or dragging, dragging it out. So depending on how you want it. And of course I could have that listed to wherever I want. Just like so. Bring this down a little bit more. And yeah, so as well as that, I can go ahead and manage the menu as well. Or if I wanted to change the layout, I can go ahead and do so as well. So I can go ahead and change the alignment like that. Or have it displayed from right to left or left to right. Now, uh, of course, this would be your time on designing the actual menu itself. And just as an example, uh, here's one of our uh, client websites that we've created. And as you can see there, we've got our logo alongside with the actual menu item itself. So it's, you can create something as close to that if you want. So going back to this, of course, what we want to do is we want to sort of increase the sizing of the font size so we'll go ahead and customize the design again go back to the text and change the font size to about 18 so that just makes it a little bit bigger easier to read so that's uh, pretty much one of the ways you can create a uh, header or what you could do as well is you could have a site design and for this you could have a page background and with this page background, so say I did choose the milk one. And with the uh, strip, of course, what I want to do is change the column background to something transparent. And I can have, as you can see, something very transparent on the background. So that's another way of creating like a modern uh, header. Now another way of course is more of a minimalistic look so I'm going to go ahead and delete the menu item and I'm going to go and add a uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a hamburger menu and I'll show you guys how to create a light box menu. So I'll go ahead and go to the basic shapes and just drag that in here. So then of course you would have your social media, anything like that. And then what I would do is change the design or change the basic shape, sorry. And then from this, I would go ahead and search up a ham burger menu. Okay. And select one of the following. So I'll just select the hamburger menu like so and of course I would like to reduce that on the sizing okay so that's one of our options here and now, now what I would like to do as well is I'm gonna go to my section here uh, pages and menu now I should be able to add a light box if you can't find it you could just select on add elements and go to the search and search up lightbox. Okay, so it looks like it's not working at the minute. Uh, give me a second, guys, and let me just get the lightbox up. Okay, so uh, just a little technical fault with Wix itself. Of course, this is an online website builder, so it can have a couple of issues. But since we found it here, uh, just go to the interactive. And then there are a couple of options for your light box. Now, what I want to choose is the this one here. Okay, and we've already got this part transparent, so I'm happy enough. And then pretty much what would go here is a list of the different 
uh, pages that you have available for your website. So we'll go ahead and change that up and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so I've got my uh, text here and of course what I would like to do is change it up a little bit and modify it. So I'm gonna change that to two and I'm even going to change my sizing so it's not too big. So this is for you to pretty much play about with at this rate. So I might just go for 35. And just make sure that these are auto-corrected as well. Okay, so pretty much I'll go ahead and touch it up and show you guys the final product. Now, uh, what I want to show you guys is how to tackle the linking issue. Now, of course, uh, this is not the actual menu item. So the, another way to do it is what I'm doing now, which is just by clicking, highlighting, clicking, and linking the page to the specific one. So, and then to get rid of the underline as well, uh, simply just hit the underline, and that just goes ahead and removes it. So we'll go ahead and get that back to the same layout and I'll be with you guys in a, in a second. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check out this website. So as you can see there, the light box just appeared. So when I go ahead and click this menu item, that go, goes ahead and reveals itself and I can go ahead and select the different pages. So that's that one there and then I can click on the women's one if I wanted to and it brings me to the women's page. So that's pretty much a starter or a beginning to creating your modern header. Uh, hopefully this gives you a foundation on where to get started and uh, just a quick little guide to help you out. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.